Hey there, Lumberjacks and Janes. It is Rick with Stumps, and I'm here today playing more Civilization V. And when I finished my playthrough of India, I asked for your suggestions as to which Civ I should play next, and one of you guys, almost as a challenge, said, I want to see you play Enrico Dandolo. I want to see how that would work out. And so here I am playing Enrico Dandolo. And before we get started, I'll show you that we are playing Large Islands, Standard, Emperor, I upped the difficulty just a notch, and we're playing a quick match. So I'm going to go ahead and build here, and this actually looks like a pretty good start city. Uh, I've got a lot of land on which to build, and then I've got this little inlet of water with some crab down there. And I'm going to send my warrior around searching. Oh, and I already found some ruins right on. So what am I going to build first? Normally I would say I'm going to build a scout first, but since we are on large islands, I'm going to bet I'm alone on this island and I don't need to explore too quickly. I'm going to build a monument instead. And what am I going to research? I'm going to go for sailing. Since I am on an island, I want to be able to research sailing as quickly as possible so I can get to that optics and so I can fish that crab as well. All right, and I've uncovered a new unit with these ruins, and I got a spearman, and I'm going to continue north, and look at that. We've discovered Aunt Anna Narivo, and we got 30 gold for it. Right on. So that's our first city-state. Our population just grew. Now we have a population of two. I cannot build a settler, though, because Venice can't build settlers. So even though I have a population of two... And normally, I would be able to build a settler at this point. Venice is going to be a single city sieve. I'm going to build a worker. The only thing that will change that is if I get a great merchant of Venice who can purchase city-states. Oh, and we've discovered pottery. We already have another policy to adopt. And I'm going to adopt the aristocracy policy, which is going to allow us to build quicker wonders. And there is another ruin. I wonder what we're going to find inside of this ruin. We found archery right on. Free tech. I love it when that happens. And that's it. We've discovered about everything that there is to discover on this island. It's a pretty cool island. I like it. We've researched sailing now. And time to decide on our next research and what are we going to research what are we going to research if i want to get those elephants i'm going to need to research trapping but i think that we can hold off on the elephants just for a little bit and go ahead and research writing and we'll go ahead and choose our next production and what is that production going to be i think that we're going to produce a granary after we produce the granary then we can go ahead and produce a workboat oh and of course my unit needs orders why don't you go over here buddy and make a farm People that like to smile the most. Oh man, everybody else is very happy. I'm, I'm stuck way down here at the bottom with only three happiness. Uh, and that's probably a comp consequence of me playing on the Emperor difficulty. So when you play on these tougher difficulties, the AI don't necessarily play better. You're just handicapped. So they're going to be given bonus happiness and bonus uh, science and all of these things and that's sort of a thing that people have complained about when it comes to Civ 5 and something that we're really hoping that they fix with the launch of Civ 6 we don't want AI just to be given bonuses or for us to be handicapped we want the AI to actually play smarter keep moving my spearman instead of my worker there we go spearman stay there worker get to work He who destroyed We've researched writing, so we can go ahead and start building uh, libraries and boosting our science. And now I think that we can go ahead and research our calendar, which is going to allow us to build the Stonehenge wonder if we wanted to. But I don't really want to do that just yet. I'm going to fortify. Choose production. We could build a shrine or a library or the great library. Now, I could try to get the great library, but I'm probably not going to be able to build it. Uh, like I said, because we are handicapped, because we're on emperor difficulty, the 
AI are going to get a boost to their production as well, and they're probably going to be able to build Great Library quicker than I will. So I'm not going to waste any turns trying to build it. We're not going to build nearly as many wonders as we did last episode. I'm going to build a library, though, so I can start... Actually, no, I'm going to build a workboat and then a library, so I can start boosting up that science output. And keep building farms, man. You're doing a great job, our little worker. What did I tell you? The Great Library's been built in a faraway land. I'm glad that we didn't try to invest any production into that. It would have been a, a silly effort, a wasted effort. The calendar has been researched, and so it's time to research a new tech here. And we can do mining, animal husbandry. I think animal husbandry is what we're going to do. We're going to get that trapping, which will allow us to build a camp on these elephants and get that ivory. Now, it's a little bit sad that ivory is a luxury resource in this game. It's kind of a uh, an unpopular thing to harvest ivory. And though I don't think that this is a uh, that this is the game condoning ivory poaching, it is just a little bit weird that they've chosen to put Gosh, ivory as a luxury in this game. All right, time to adopt another policy, and we're actually adopting policies at a pretty quick rate here, pretty quick, and that should be expected when we're playing as. Enrico Dandolo. And there you go. Speaking of which, the most progressive people, which means the people who have the most policies at the moment, I am currently tied for first with everybody, apparently. Everybody has already researched four policies. And the Great Lighthouse has been built in the faraway land, so if we had hoped to build that, those hopes are dashed at this point. Start moving over there, worker. By the time you get to those elephants, we should be finished researching trapping. And you should be able to build. There we go. Just wait one turn. Even and trapping's been researched. So we're going to build that camp now, which is going to give us a boost to our happiness. And what are we going to research next? There's only three techs left in the ancient era. So are we going to do mining or the wheel? Well, we don't really need the wheel yet. I mean, it can give us a water wheel, sure. But uh, it also gives us roads, and we don't need to connect anything. So I'm going to go ahead and do mining, which is going to allow us to build a mine on this hill and upper production just a little bit all right there we go we've got our first cargo ship so we're gonna go ahead and start trading with i'm, I'm not gonna say this city's name because it's it's a mouthful but this city up here i'm gonna call him ant okay just for short uh i know it's ant anna Nararivo, but i'm gonna call ant for short and we're gonna go trade with ant and we're gonna get six gold for our troubles and we can actually build more trade routes, too, because we can build four trade routes, but I don't have... I'm not friends with any other uh, city states yet. I haven't found them yet. But I could go find them if I were to build a trireme, which we're going to build after we build a library. Oh, they desire ivory. Perfect, because we're about to build a camp on the ivory there. So that's going to make Ant super happy. All right, three techs left. The wheel, masonry, bronze working. I'm going to go ahead and research the wheel. Or I'm sorry, <laughs> masonry right now. And the Temple of Artemis has been built far away, and the pyramids have been built far away. Ivory connected for Ant. That gives us a little boost with them. Makes us a little bit more favorable to that city-state, which is good because we're going to want to be friends with as many city-states as possible. And Venice just demanded truffles. Well, guess what? I don't even know how you know what truffles are because we haven't even discovered that there are such thing as truffles in this world, but you guys aren't going to get them because we don't have any truffles on this island. And Stonehenge has been built in a faraway land. There are wonders being built everywhere. And that is the end of the ancient era, everybody. We have entered into... The classical era and we're gonna go ahead and play the classical era as well last episode i did the ancient era and then the classical era but we're gonna go ahead and combine these two into one episode since the ancient era goes so quickly and our first tech in the classical era will be optics which is going to allow us to embark into the ocean well the coast rather oh, it's theodora hello theodora so that's our first sieve that we've met theodora from byzantium that's her Droman right there. Let's go ahead and get around her Droman. It's Hanoi. Hello, Hanoi. Good to meet ya. And Cahokia has just been found as well. Okay, it's good to know that there are a couple other city-states over here. Oh my god! Holy moly! 
a great person has just been born and that great person is a merchant of venice which is going to allow us to purchase a city state if we so choose and i am definitely going to choose to do that but the thing is we're going to have to find just the right city state to purchase so i don't want to make any rash decisions we could purchase ant but it doesn't look like it's going to be a productive city i don't know if i want to purchase that city just yet Ooh, a natural wonder has been found. Ciro de Potosi has been found. And this will give us a bonus to happiness. If, or uh, this will give us a bonus to gold if we were to have it within our borders. So Cahokia at this point is seeming like a pretty good city-state to purchase. Oh, and uh, ruin's been discovered as well. I'm thinking maybe we should send our spearmen over there. Do a little exploring around. Theodora wants an embassy, and I will be happy to give her an embassy. That will go ahead and let us know where she is on the map. And Constantinople is way down here. We've entered a golden age. And let's compare Constantinople to Venice at the moment. So Venice, we have a nine population, whereas Constantinople only has eight. So we are exceeding them in that area at the moment. I'm going to want to get out of Hanoi's way here. I'm just passing through, buddy. I don't want to piss them off by staying in their borders. And our trireme has just finished doing its navigation around this island so we have a pretty good idea of what this island is composed of and if we were to purchase Cahokia like I was talking about we could get Ciro here or Siri Ciro no it is Ciro de Potosi uh, which would give us a natural wonder but I'm still not completely sold on doing that just yet they do have dyes which is going to give us that luxury resource which isn't too shabby and we're going to build a lighthouse this turn after we build the lighthouse, maybe we'll try to build the hanging gardens, which is going to help us build up our population. And I'm going to do a little bit more exploring with the trireme. Maybe we can find a better place, a better city-state to purchase. The world's busiest people. I'm in second, so I'm actually producing the second most production, which is pretty good to know. And actually a little surprising. But I guess that shouldn't be, because we are playing on large islands and so people aren't going to naturally have a lot of production i would imagine which tech are we going to research next i think that we're going to research philosophy next philosophy i yes i think that that would be a smart bet and somebody just enhanced the religion let's see how religion race is going i can go up here and i can see that two religions can still be founded so if we wanted to found a religion we could right now it's not at the top of my priorities list but it's something that we could keep in mind and actually take advantage of if we wanted to. Okay, I'm going to try to build the Hanging Gardens. I actually think that we won't have success in building this, but I'm just going to try anyway. Because there's not a ton of options of things to build at the moment. So, why not? Let's go ahead and give it a try. Alright, our trireme has gone as far as it can go. It can't explore outside of these coastal tiles, so it can't go into the deep ocean. We're going to have to swing around. Okay, the Oracle's been built far away. But nobody else has built the Hanging Garden yet. So we still have a chance there. Seven more turns to build it. And we have our cargo ship to send back to Ant. There we go. We're going to renew that trade route. And I can't build any more trade routes. Even though I do have three more ships that I could build... We don't have any trade routes available to us at the moment. So if you guys are wondering why I haven't taken advantage of building those ships yet, that would be the reason. Okay, Cahokia, I can't get around their unit, so I'm going to have to get back in the water. Oh, and the Hanging Gardens have been built. There we go. I'm trespassing in Cahokia. I'm aware of this. And in case you guys are wondering what happens if somebody else is building the Hanging Gardens, do I just lose those turns? I do and I don't. So the Hanging Gardens has been built far away, but the uh, production that I've invested into the Hanging Gardens is actually converted to gold. So it's not a total loss, but I would rather have that production back than that lost gold, if I had to choose. Time to produce again, and what are we going to produce this time? We could do another trireme if we want to, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to actually build a Colosseum, which is going to give us a little bit of a boost to our culture and our happiness. And let's get out of Cahokia. We don't want to piss them off too much. We can finally build that lumber mill now. And it's good to know that there are some ruins over here. We can go ahead and explore those and see what we get from them. 
This world can be cruel. Only with the assistance of others can we overcome it. Shall we announce the world our declaration of friendship? I've got nothing against you. Okay, let's work together. Let's see if we can be friends. All right, Spearman. You're almost to those ruins up there. And actually, Tririm, go back up. I think that we can go westward a little bit more. Before we go back home. See what else we've got to the west. There is only one good. All right, philosophy has been researched. Our Spearman's made it to the island. And our trireme is going west. There we go. There is more stuff west. Oh, there's truffles to the west. So if we can find a city-state to purchase over there, maybe we can get those truffles and make the people of Venice happy because they demanded truffles earlier. I don't know where they get off demanding things of me this early in the game, but they did. And whether or not it was rude, we want to make them happy. Okay, I'm going to do uh, engineering so that I can build those aqueducts. Increase our food output. They're by increasing our population. And, ooh, what did we get in the ruins? We got 70 gold. Okay, not the best thing to find in ruins, but I'm not going to turn my nose up at it. And we found another island over here. Potentially another city-state. We can build the National College, but first I'm going to build, actually, a composite bowman to send across the ocean and go exploring. Ah, look at this Napoleon! We had Napoleon in our last game, and we've got him in this game as well. I wonder where he's at. He's probably going to ask for an embassy soon. And then we can discover where he is at. Okay, let's go ahead and swing around his ship here. It's just a long, skinny island over here. Oh, and it's got foxes! What did I tell you? He wants an embassy. You can have an embassy. Oh, okay, there he is. He's actually to the west. We should actually run across his... There it is his borders very soon and let's go get these ruins up there to the north our lumber mill's been built so we can go ahead and build a, another farm over here and somebody just entered the medieval era Ooh, good for you good for you ah we just discovered kabul so Kabul uh, has this little island going on. I'm going to do a little tour around the island and see if Kabul would be worth taking with that great merchant of Venice. Time to open the tech tree. We've got four more techs in the classical era. Let's go ahead and do currency next, which will allow us to build markets and boost our gold output a little bit. And we can now build six trade routes, and I really want to build another trade route, but... I don't know if I can trade with Kabul. Can I get there? Let's see. We'll see after we build our national college. Okay, Kabul. Kabul also has ivory, so I don't know if I want to take that unless they have another luxury resource. Somebody just founded a religion and the world's most progressive people. Oh man, I am kind of in the middle. I've got seven compared to this unmet player who has 10 policies. So we went from being tied with first with four policies to actually being kind of in the middle of the race. It's a little disheartening, but I think that we can catch up. Ooh, we just found 30 faith, but that's too bad because we can't found a religion. So that does us no good, really. And honestly, I'm glad that we don't have a religion. I don't want to have to deal with having to compete with other religions and whatnot. That's just one thing less to worry about. We can build a great wall if we want to now. But uh, is there anything else worth building instead? I think the great wall would be fine. Let's go ahead and try to build that. Now, just like the Hanging Gardens, there's a good chance that we won't be able to build the great wall. But we can try, damn it. We can try. And we're going to keep going with our exploration of the west. We'll just keep sending our archer around, and I'm going to attack this barbarian encampment. Chances are that I'm going to be able to upgrade this spearman, and I'll go ahead and give him the heal upgrade, which will allow us to take this encampment. And we've got three techs left to research. Let's go ahead and do horseback riding. Let's get that out of the way. Horseback riding is researched, and we do have some horses down there, which we could go develop once our borders expand over there. Little trireme. What do you see with your trireme eyes? And just like I expected, my spearmen 
can go ahead and take this heal instantly upgrade, which he's going to do. And he's going to keep attacking. I should be able to wipe out these barbarians in the next turn. If I can manage to stay alive. Now, let's go ahead and research drama and poetry next, which will leave us with one more technology to research after this. Okay, he has stayed alive like a good little spearman should. And that barbarian encampment's cleared, and we get 16 gold for our effort. Oh, hello, Carthage. I remember you from my last playthrough. We have Carthage and France in our game again. And I'm going to wonder if I get along with Carthage better than I did last game. Because we did not get along with Carthage at all the last game. This trireme is probably going to run out of places to go. Yep, I've run into the French border and I can go no farther. So I'm going to have to send this trireme home. Except an embassy. All right, where are you at? Okay, so she's super far to the west, Carthage. And somebody what built a great wall. Of course they did. I can't get any wonders in this playthrough, guys. Uh, I'm going to actually need to start thinking about taking another city-state. And at this point, Cahokia is actually looking like the best place to take. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do, actually. Come on. Let's go ahead and send our merchant to Cahokia. Let's get that done with. And we'll send our archer back home. What are we going to produce? We could do the Circus Maximus, which is going to give us a boost to our happiness and a little bit to our culture, but we're happy enough. I'm going to build a market, which is going to help our gold output. And choose the last research within the classical era, which is iron working. Oh, and Nebuchadnezzar's up in here. He just dropped his cup. He was like, I am Nebuchadnezzar. Are you real or just a phantom of my tortured senses? Dude's weird. You're weird, dude. No, you don't get open borders. Are you crazy? No, you don't get open borders either. And I don't know why they... It's like the AI are just programmed to hassle you for open borders. Another thing that I hope that they fix in Civ 6. I don't understand why they want open borders. Sometimes it makes sense. They want to go to war with somebody, so they want to open the borders so that they can pass through your territory. But in this case... I'm on an island in the middle of nowhere. Open borders to them is going to do them no good at all. At all. I don't know why they keep hassling me for it. Okay, our great merchant has arrived at Cahokia. We're going to be able to bite the next turn. I'm going to send our worker down here to get those cows. Those delicious looking cows. We're going to have hamburgers tonight. And I'm going to start building the Circus Maximus because I can, okay? Okay. Because I can. I can't build a cargo ship yet because it says you cannot construct this trade route unit because there are no available sea trade routes. I can't get to those uh, city states with these routes just yet. So let's go ahead and build the Circus Maximus. And the Circus Maximus is a national wonder, which means that we don't have to compete with other civs. Every single civ can build a copy of this. And now we just completed ironworking, and now we are in the new era. Before I end this episode, however, I will go ahead and purchase Cahokia. Here we go. We're going to buy the city-state. Dang, look at that. And with it, we get all of those military units, too. Look at that. Our army just increased exponentially. And I'm going to send this... So we are at a loss when it comes to gold, so there's that. But once we actually station a unit within Cahokia, we will be able to save a little bit of gold. Uh, so what are we going to do next episode? We are going to enter the medieval era. So we will research everything in the medieval era, and maybe we'll combine Renaissance with that episode as well. We'll see how long it takes me to do the medieval era. What I want to do is be able to complete a playthrough of each sieve within a week. So I want to be able to only do seven episodes of Venice from beginning to end and then move on to the next sieve. So go ahead and in the comments, start letting me know which sieves you'd like to see me play in the future. And let me know how you're liking this episode of Venice, guys. I hope you are enjoying it. If you are, be sure to give it a like, favorite, share, and subscribe, guys. I've been Rick with Stumped, and I will see you guys tomorrow.